Okay, it is video two, part two of the SS Voyager, and we will go to the next unvisited location. If you didn't watch the last video, I don't know, find it. I'll, I'll maybe put a link up or something. Here we go. Local sensors pick up two ships engaged in a heated battle. It seems Mantis military ships will surely defeat its prey. I'm gonna age ya, don't worry. Continue. Okay, let's add another power bar to the shields. Burst lasers go onto your weapons. Unpause. Yes, double shields. Makes it a lot easier. Except when that happens. Okay, more burst lasers to your weapons. Go! Oh, yes! 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 Die! 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 Shields. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and burst laser there. Control. And you are nothing, Mantis Scout. Word. Sorry. Oh, a lot of scrap. A lot of scrap. Uh, 150. Let's go to the ship. And upgrade. Hmm. What else should we do? Upgrade the engine one? Nah. I'll I'll wait until I get a better weapon. This looks like I'll go to a distress beacon. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. I don't know what to do. Last time, so the person that I kind of got this game from or something said that this is always a bad idea, but I want to help this time. Your crew creeps slowly creeps up on a cluster of the creatures from behind without warning the giant arachnids turn in charge your team stays in control and before long you've beaten them back you're thrilled with your success and they offer you a reward how come that wasn't a deal that wasn't i thought that'd be more dangerous a ship without life forms with a nearby dense asteroid field is given off a distress signal shall we investigate it could be dangerous search for the ship you find a number of remains of some kind of ship coated in ice or crystals. Send some crew board to explore. Nearly everything is either destroyed or unidentifiable. One of the weapons appears salvageable, and there's a strange stasis pod that catches your eye. I'm gonna grab the weapon. Crew grabs what they could find, what they can, and returns to the ship before you the asteroid hits. You look at what you've recovered once you make move clear of the asteroid field. So let's see what this halberd beam is. Whoa, that takes a lot of power. So our equipment is the halberd beam. Acquired power. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I will... Let's go to ship. Upgrade it by two. That's a lot. Okay. Restore. I think we can do a little bit more jumping around. You arrive just in time to see an unusually well armored, well armed NG starship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected, intruder on deck. A young mantis in charred uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleport signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. I'm sorry, I wanna He presses his things and prepares to help you fight his pursuer. Okay, you, Tuck Lee, it's not a tea leak. You will go into our oxygen, it's usually pretty important. And we now have our new halberd beam. First, I want to burst, I guess burst laser is a lot shorter. I don't know, that beam doesn't look, it looks like it's more hassle than it's worth. Let's undo the halberd beam for a little bit and wait for our burst laser to cut through the shield so it would be more effective over all the rooms we destroy. Okay, so burst laser to shields. 
Okay, Halber Beam across the shields and all that. Oh, that was so cool! That's my egg Mega Ultimate Beam Weapon. Ooh, there are two stores. Um, both of them connect to the exit. I'll go to this one. Probably just end up repairing. An NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG Hive the Beacon are selling equipment for just that. Okay, I got a helper beam. It's so cool. We'll fix all of our problems. Zoltans are close allies of the NG. Their innate energy is strong enough to power ship systems. Hmm. Maybe. No, I can't afford it, though. We'll get some more fuel. I guess we can buy Kara. Okay, that's close. We will put... NGs are good at repairing things. Now, a thing I need repaired pretty quickly. Uh, when things go wrong... Engine? Allow me some maneuverability and stuff. I'll go ahead and keep him on, engine, keep him on engines. Okay, let us jump. Just close this door. Why does it need to be open? We will go ahead and exit. To sector 2. You've arrived at the, at the long range beacon when the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. A missile shoots across your bow when the jump completes. Your scans quickly reveal a ship with pirate markings pursue. Pirate yells at you, let's just be the hero. The pirate stops his pursuit and locks weapons onto your ship. Okay, we will first of all burst laser their shields so we can use our mega, mega ultimate beam on them. Hopefully their shields will stay down for long enough for us to use the halberd beam. Probably won't stay down for long enough, so we'll just attack them a second time with our burst lasers. Burst laser to there. So halberd beam. Halberd beam, like that. Fine, our previous... I'm gonna reject it. I'm... You're dead. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Aww. I didn't get as much scrap as I would have if I accepted their offer. The aid or arms dealer that only makes with rebels, but considering the circumstances... Yeah, that was not a good deal. Oh well. Let's go ahead and jump. Actually, let's just repair this real fast. Okay, so you two can go into the infirmary real fast, just to heal up. My two alien people, yay. Kara and Tikleek. Tikleek, yes, okay. I don't remember what I put you two on. You went on to engine, so you must have gone on to oxygen. Okay. We will unpower our things and let's go off. Let's jump to the next sector. Okay, I always like to go for a safer sounding sector, just because I'm a noob. Welcome to the new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels can catch you. Ooh, lots of nebulae. I hate nebulae. Let's go around them. Ooh, looks like Coruscant. You detected an automated rebel scout attacking a small reef. Intervene, come on. Pause. We'll activate our burst laser and deactivate one bar of power from here to activate our halberd beam. Okay, burst laser to weapons, halberd beam across here. So we'll just wait. Shouldn't take long. Once our hopper beam is loaded up, they're toast. There we go. Hopper beam. Yeah! I knew that wouldn't be hard. Ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. A system repair drone. Hmm, that might be useful. Outpost hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thank you for the help. We've been you know, harassed non-stop by those scouts. Take this for the help for the, on the house. I can't talk. So I have a 
Sorry. Okay. Uh, you inform a nearby star system of your flight to the rebels. They offer your ship with a weapon and wish you well. Okay, let's see. Equipment. Heavy laser. No, just keep an Artemis on. Why not? Heavy lasers are pretty good. They're kind of like... They're not, they're not good for a ship with weapons. So I gotta take that in mind, but... No, they're decent. We'll go ahead and jump. Should we go ahead and answer distress? Why not? Looks like we have a little bit of time. You locate the source of the distress call, a nearby human mining colony. Unknown disease spread. Send your NG down to colony infected. No fear of catching the disease, your NG crew member helps reassure and organize the infected humans. Calm by the its extensive knowledge about human site physiology. The infected submit to the quarantine in the hopes that the cure can be found soon. The colony leaders offer a small reward to prevent an ugly incident. Good. That was helpful. Ooh, we need to hurry now. Rebels are coming. Rebels are coming. The captain of a ship can provide some services as long as you've got this scrap. I want to fight you. Oh, come on. My iPad moose always keeps turning off. Okay, we will fight the scat ship. It's worse than rebels. The only honor, of course, to engage the mercenary in battle. Okay, we will... You don't have any teleporters. That's great. I want to take out your shields. That's not very nice. Okay, come on. Burst laser. Let's think I can halberd beam across. Halberd beam across these three. I'm not gonna surrender. So burst laser to their weapons. There we go. Okay, we got a lot more scrap out of that. It was totally worth it. Okay, we will keep Kara there to repair. Use my best repairing at the moment. Tuvok isn't bad. We'll put Tuvok and Chakotay onto the breach. Because they are both located near the thing. So both of you can go into the infirmary for a little bit. Okay. Chakotay, you are 100%. Same with Tuvok. You can go back to your weapons. Okay, let's just disable these. Jump. Ooh, store. It's good now. I've got a lot of scrap. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. That's down. That sounds dangerous. Injury shield passes, which allows for partial shield piercing. Okay, the small bomb. Nah. Fix all. Buy some more fuel. And... I don't have any reason to buy drone parts. Sell. System repair. I'll keep my arsenal for now. But there are a few upgrades I want to do for the ship. Um, it's expensive, but it's it's one of the better upgrades. Okay, we'll keep going. Let's jump. We need to get to the exit pretty quickly. This would be the safer alternative, then we can go here to here. We have to go through the nebula once. Hopefully that won't kill me. Probably will. Actually, it is probably time to end this episode. So this has been Dog to Firefang, episode 2 of FTL, The Flight of the Voyager. Uh, it's gone a lot longer this time. I will see you guys later.